it is raining out. So we've all heard the myths, the starving artist trope, the you can't make money as an artist, uh, you're never gonna make it, you might as well just give up and quit now. Thanks to the internet, and thanks to business classes, and thanks to art classes, you know, artists who have actually got a full-time income and things like that, those sort of uh, myths could not be more wrong. Artists are often still very much doubted. There's a lot of skepticism still, especially surrounding visual artists, painters, you know, like myself. Even musicians and dancers and writers and everybody else in the creative industry tends to get a bit more respect and less skepticism than visual artists do. Uh, I still feel like you could go up to someone and say, I'm a musician or I'm a dancer, or I'm a writer, they would take you way more seriously. I've said to people, I'm an artist many times, and they sort of look at me with this half-fake smile of, really, how do you do it? Do you make a living from this? That's still very taboo. It's taboo, and people are baffled by the idea that you can make a living making art. And unfortunately, the starving artist trope is so ingrained into our culture that it's it's very hard to break it. And I'm not gonna lie to you, being an artist is really fucking hard. It's hard, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of trust in yourself, in your own abilities, it's a lot of perseverance and discipline. You're not working the 9 to 5 job, you're working 24-7. You know, it's not an easy career. Of course it's not. However, that doesn't mean it's not possible. You know, more so than ever, thanks to social media, thanks to, you know, everything that I said at the start that we are able to actually pursue it as a career. And there are so many careers involving art. Graphic designers, illustrators, bookmakers. The list could quite literally go on as well. I'm talking in the sense, of course, of a more traditional artists like myself, which I paint. I paint, I sell my work. You're gonna have to come up with diversified uh, income streams. That is just a given in the art world. You, you cannot survive, typically, on just one income stream. And that might look like what I do. I teach, I teach online courses. I also teach workshops in person. I sell my paintings, I also take commission, do markets occasionally, and I also like to license my work out. And, you know, I sell products as well on Etsy. So there's a whole diversification here of my income. It's, it's different, but it's all involved in art. So you want to decide what the passive and the active income streams are. Passive income being the income that you make while you're fast asleep in bed, you know, and that could be selling digital products. You don't really need to be actively doing it. The only active part of that is the marketing, which you have to do that for everything. That's just part of business. Active income streams are income streams you're always working on. So I'm always making paintings and, and selling paintings. Painting the sales can be passive, you know, you can sit there technically and, you know, people can buy it at any time when you're not marketing it. But for the most part, you're going to be actively uh, selling your paintings. You, you have to, you have to be actively pushing those out, telling their story uh, or their meaning or connecting with people in order to buy your work. And so this is where social media really comes in and helps, you know, building an audience is not really optional. You do need some kind of collector base or audience who is going to follow you, who loves your work, who loves you know the messages that you put out there, who really connects with you. Uh, and I've mentioned this in a previous video, some artists, you could be all saying the exact same thing, but people will gravitate towards you because they connect and understand you better. This is where networking comes in. Networking is literally the most crucial aspect of running an art business. You have to talk to people, whether that's in person or online. You have to be putting yourself out there in front of people all the time because you never know who you're going to come across, you never know who's going to buy your paintings, you never know who's going to like or follow your content or resonate with you. It's 
just the way it's got to be. There's loads of different ways to make it as an artist, to make money as an artist. There's plenty of options such as crowdfunding platforms, uh, Patreon, Ko-Fi. These kinds of platforms basically allow you to give to give and, and take from each other, you know, in a more mutual way. They benefit, you benefit. Certain artists, those sort of platforms work really well for them. They make the majority of their income on those and that's great. You know, you have to find what works for you. One of the things that I do personally is I sell my prints and uh, other products as well as my originals. So selling is uh, important. I have an Etsy store right now where I sell the majority of my printed products and some small originals on. My bigger originals I sell on my website. A lot of this can be passive, but it's also active. You've got to be marketing this, you've got to be promoting it, you've got to be you know, sharing with people uh, where they can get your stuff and, and people who don't even know you need to know where they can get your stuff. So this is kind of a, a mishmash of passive and active. Another great way to make money as an artist is teaching teaching, people are always going to want to learn, people are always going to want new information, and they're learning at every age. I work with clients uh, who are children, and I work with clients who are, you know, 80 years or older, and, and just still wanting to learn things and sharpen their minds. And I do teaching in person, uh, and that's a great lucrative way if you can find a really good spot that pays you really well, uh, but also gets you regular bookings. And then also I teach courses online through my Intuitive Artist Academy and that's a great way for passive income as well. I also have other digital products, files and mentoring and things like that uh, that people can come to me and learn because they want to know how to paint or how to get their art business to another level. You know, and then there are other things like licensing, AdSense and just you know, different things like affiliate marketing. I know a lot of artists get little bits of their diverse income from those places. And, you know, it can be a really useful, some of them are, are great. If you can get AdSense from YouTube, then you can be making a pretty stable income from that. And I know a lot of artists who do do that. So you just have to choose the, um, the income streams that are really gonna suit you, uh, that make you feel you can, you can, do the work, but not give yourself so much work that you're burned out. This is why I really like teaching, and I especially like teaching courses online, because you can make them once and then sell them. And the majority of the work is a lot of work up front, it's a lot. But once it's done, it's sort of done, and you can just focus on marketing. You know, everything ranging from uh, product sales, uh, original sales, it's all down to networking and marketing your pieces. And that is uh, crucial, you know, because if you're not networking or marketing, then you're not building an audience, then you're not meeting people, and then you're not getting your work out there. And that really is the crucial way to uh, make your living. You have to be comfortable with that. And I get it. I'm an introvert myself. I find it really hard to uh, speak to people uh, in person sometimes or want to talk to people in person. It's different when you're just in front of a camera and it's nobody else in the room. You, you have to do it. You know, you have to set aside that discomfort that you naturally have in you and just do it. <laughs> for the sake of your business, for the sake of your future, and for the sake of your career. So I'm gonna leave this video here today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more, then consider subscribing. If you have any questions about our business or painting tips, please put those in the comments below, and I will absolutely answer them or include them in a future video. So I will see you all next time. If you're an artist looking to take your business full-time, then head over to the Intuitive Artist Academy to book an exclusive one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with me. I will look at your art and art business and guide you on the right path for your artistic journey. These coaching sessions will leave you feeling inspired and ready to take action for your own art career.